Hello. Today I'll be talking about Love With Food, the company, and how it optimizes itself on YouTube. Love With Food, Love With Food is a is a food and grocery delivery company that also suggests healthy food recommendations and recipes. They have recently established a business deal with a fellow food related company, Snack Nation. They make most of their sales by being advertised by YouTube ads and subscription deliveries. They are amongst the many contributing companies within YouTube. In the video, what you need to know about your new love with food subscription from the Love With Food channel, there appears to be a lack of keywords and hashtags which are necessary to attract the demographic's interest. It also doesn't have any cards or end screens that are necessary for optimization as it can lead viewers to other videos and content on the channel. But where it lacks in using keywords and hashtags, it makes up for having a well-written title that explains the topic of discussion and can be considered alluring for anyone who is interest, interested in knowing how to apply and become accounted for the channel's company and services. The same goes for the thumbnail. It's a simple graph design showca showcasing an avid consumer and employee of Love With Food who discusses the benefits of ordering products from from the company, the prices, and the multiple benefits that can come from subscriptions. Another aspect it got right was having closed captions. Lastly, it also has links and, digi and a digital coupon to its own website in the description board and open and uh, open comment section to receive suggestions and questions. In the second video from Love With Food, Guys Try Spicy Wings, as it was spelled, also falls down the same pitfalls also falls down the same pitfalls what you need to know about your new love with food subscription it lacks the basic optimization traits by not using hashtags hashtags in screens and youtube cards but the title is where it shines it's shorter precise utilizes major keywords and capitalized which can really actually help a lot of viewers to notice uh, someone's video. And with YouTube series like Hot Ones, where in which celebrities are asked what their favorite food is and, and pretty much them eating chicken wings on the channel, it's obvious that they're trying to branch out with their brand by appealing to different kinds of viewers. The thumbnail is also pretty standard, mostly consisting of the title of the video, the people eating, and the background consisting of a solid purple color. The video also has an open description board and describes the content of the video and also has digital coupons for the leisure of their viewers and subscribers. In the third video, what's in the third video, what's in love with food march <laughs> 17 box spoilers. The woman advertising made no short time telling people to subscribe and like the video if they admired their delivery goods and services. But yet again, this video fails to include any YouTube cards, hashtags, and end screens. The title of the video is also way too long and could, uh, and, and could be more precise than describing the product being showcased. The description board gives, gives some gives a summary of what is being discussed and shown. The thumbnail depicts the host of the channel holding one of the products of Love With Food. With the title of, with the title of video in the kitchen, with the title, with the title of the video in the kitchen gives the impression that it was food related when, uh, when, when I explored it. The company, the, the company of uh, Love With Food is, uh, in my opinion, is really badly optimized. It, it has a poor, really poor use of optimization. Not saying as the content of the video is bad itself, but I just feel like considering most most of these three videos that I've you know broke down and reviewed, it was really I feel like the steps of the of including hashtags and. Uh, including hashtags and whatnot tend to really 
it really, it, it really degraded itself. Like, uh, Love With Food, the company, the brand itself, the channel, could have way more exposure if it if it went out of its time to actually include hashtags and uh, having more legitimate uh, uh, titles in their names. Some of them are way too long, uh, especially with the third one was way too long, and it could have literally just been summed up with one sentence opposed to, you know, these really complicated uh, 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 use of words and special characters. So pretty much if I were to run Love With Food, if I were to give any suggestions for the, the company, the brand, and this channel, but the, more specifically this channel, it's for them to utilize more optimization uh, 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 terms and, and, and mechanisms such as using hashtags and uh, shorter uh, video titles and uh, also in, also using in cards and suggestions to other videos on the channel because it can really open the door f for people to uh, view more of their content.